So we've been talking about VR on this channel here and there as new things happen. We took a look at the PlayStation VR and it was interesting. I do like the PlayStation VR for what it is, but that setup, the setup just is so off-putting for a lot of people. So if you remember, I've talked about a few ways that VR can become better for the mainstream. Wireless VR would be ideal, so you eliminate a lot of those cables, and all-in-one VR headsets. And if you remember, last year, Oculus announced the Oculus Go, which is an all-in-one headset, as in you don't need a, a cell phone and you don't need like a computer or a game system. It's all built into the headset. And now it's finally here. This, believe it or not, just stealth released. Like, it just surprise launched. Um, I saw what the people were talking about online. I stopped by my local Best Buy, and they had some in stock. There are a couple different models. I believe there's a 32 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte model. The 32 gigabyte model is $200. It's $50 more to then double the space to 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. So I figure here we're going to go ahead and unbox it and see what it kind of comes with, um, and then we'll check it out, and I'll even probably take it apart to see what we have there uh, in another video. This is more just in case you're wondering what comes with this for $200. And it's going to be hard to record any footage of the actual headset in action since it's a VR headset, but I'll probably talk about my experiences with it as well at some point to see if it's, if it's worth, I guess, the purchase of $200 and if there's enough there. Now around the box, it's, it's interesting because I noticed that they do talk about there being a controller in here, which is great. And they gave you, they give you a bunch of apps on the front here, but they don't actually have anything Google related with YouTube or anything. And that might be because this is from Facebook. So there's a good chance that's why. However, I figure we'll take it apart. Um, they don't at all describe any of the specs, but we do know it was surprisingly, this is a 2560 by 1440 display that's in this headset. And we I believe it's a Snapdragon 821. So it's an older chipset, but it's used here in, in, a, in a much more budget friendly headset. You don't need a computer or anything. So that's actually a big, uh, I think, driving factor for this. So they do have protective foam on the inside here, as I guess you would need for the headset, because it looks like everything is pretty much right there. So your entire headset is here. You have the controller, which is um, an interesting controller. We're gonna take a quick look at that. And it looks like you do have some cables that come with it. I do know they need a way to charge it. So this probably has, yep, a charging brick. Um, what is this rated? That's, that's, that's a good question, actually. Here we go. Um, it's uh, a five volt, two amp standard USB brick. So it seems like you'd probably be able to use most that are at least two amp, uh, five volts. So a lot of uh, cell phone adapters now that do like quick charge and stuff should probably be able to provide enough power. Um, but this one is at least an Oculus branded one. Um, so it looks like we have our spacer for the headsets. So that way it can, I guess, push against you and everything. It doesn't, um, it's for eyeglass spacer. So if someone like me, you know, with glasses would use that or I would just put contacts in, but I don't want to break the internet and not wear my glasses, you know? So we'll stick with that. Uh, looks like we have some paperwork, manuals, cleaning cloth, which you wanna use specifically for the inside here on the, uh, the, the glass and everything, or probably plastic to be honest. Instructions, there is a standard USB cable. So it, it does charge apparently through micro USB. So it's no proprietary stuff. Thank you, Oculus for not, or Facebook for not trying to make us go proprietary. And then there is, a battery floating around, a single AA battery floating around in here. I assume that's for the controller. The controller is interesting. Um, it kind of reminds me, if you look at it, as a, uh, like a Wii, rem like a Wii nunchuck, I guess, right? It has like the touchpad here, kind of. And it looks like that because it has like the trigger and it does have two buttons here. Um, I guess that's that's kind of where the similarities end after that, and I guess the battery would go into uh, would go into this guy. Um, there we go. So that comes off, and we have a double A that goes straight in here. Single double A powers that. Um, I guess putting like a lith like a lithium ion battery in there might be a little more expensive. Just give them a double A, and if you want to have, um, I guess rechargeable, you would uh, you would just get your own rechargeable double A's. So there we go. That guy is actually powered up now. It actually has a light popping up top. So I might have to charge this guy to get it going. That might be a thing. Um, and then we have, what is this? A lanyard, okay. 
So we have a lanyard. That's probably for uh, this guy. Yeah, it goes into the bottom here. So you kind of keep it around your wrist. Just in case you get a little too crazy with your VR. You don't want to send that thing flying, you know? Um, so we have that. Uh, and the headset, that appears to be everything that comes uh, next to it in that little box. Uh, cleaning cloth again. Um, everything else looks like we just grab it. It even has a little thing here that says, Gra oh, you do, okay, so this is interesting. Um, I just told you guys it was all in one and it's supposed to be, but it says you need your phone to get it set up. So keep that in mind. You probably, you need a way to at least set it up with a phone. Um, I assume it needs an Android, uh, or iPhone, uh, because you need to download the Oculus app on your mobile phone to set up your headset. It's all printed right there. So it does need at least a way to get set up uh, with an Oculus app. And then I guess from there, you're pretty much ready to go. Not a ton of stuff in here, but again, this is kind of a budget oriented headset. It's not the $800 Vive or something, you know, this is a, a $200 headset that has a surprisingly high definition screen in there. Now, the quality of the screen is the question. That's what I want to know about because it sounds cool at 1440, but how good does it really look, right? That's the question. Um, it looks like if we take a quick look around the headset, the volume up and down are actually at the top here, uh, which is interesting. I guess if you're wearing it and you kind of reach up and you grab the top of it, it's easy to get to. And then the on off button is right at the top as well. Okay, fair enough. Um, other than that, nothing else really around it. It looks like it has, um, I guess a pinhole down here, maybe for a microphone, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Um, and then I'm trying to see, is there a spot where a head, okay, there we go, yes, okay. It does need, obviously, headphones plugged in. Um, the charge port and the headphone port are on the sides here. So, um, that's where you would plug in your headphones, you run them around, I guess, uh, not easily, <laughs> but they would just plug in there and then you plug them into your ears so you have the full experience. And then, of course, you charge it here. Don't know if it has a charge. It does have uh, protective wear over the plastic, over the the um, lenses. <clears throat> Let me just see if it even powers on straight up. Um, otherwise, it might need to uh, might need to be plugged in. Oh no, it's on. It is on. All right. So I really, obviously, I have a hard time showing you guys this. Oh, the speakers, I guess, built in too. Hmm. As you could kind of hear it. Um, it's going to be hard to show you guys any of this, obviously, um, so you have to take my word for it. It does turn on, <laughs> but it, um, I guess I do need to get an app to download, so there you go. I need to do that, and then I'll um, be able to try it out, but that is the Oculus Go. Uh, it's $200 getting started. I need to see what else we can do with this. It does tout games. It touts Netflix, uh, Hulu, Discovery, uh, it shows a Jurassic World game. Um, so there's some stuff that I would like to try out with this and see how well it looks, specifically that screen. Um, maybe I'll actually try this real quick just to see how it looks and give you guys a very quick impression. All you're going to see, though, is me with this headset on. So I guess bear with me for a second here as I try to quickly put this on. Okay, so I have it on. Um... All right, I got the uh, got this guy here. Um, this I can actually see kind of around. Um, first impressions of the headset. I think I need to get it focused, but it looks okay, I guess. It doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look as bad as uh, the PlayStation VR, if you, if you know what I mean there. But I do need to download the app. It's yelling at me to download the app. Um, so, so far, though, it looks okay. I just have something in front of me. This is a little cursor on the screen. If I look down, I can actually see it right here. So that's kind of neat. And it does turn and it shows it turning. So, okay, cool. So tracking there is good. There's no, I don't think there's any actual tracking in the headset because uh, it's not built into the Snapdragon yet. That's something they're working on. So I, if I walk around the room, it's not going to give me that feeling of me, I believe, walking around in the game. Um, so I'm gonna have to download this app. I'll check it out. We'll see how it looks and everything. But uh, right now it looks slightly blurry, but again, I don't have the app downloaded and um, I might have to do some uh, calibrations. So uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Also, I learned that my head is uh, quite large because I had to adjust those straps to be um, much further out. So, uh, but yeah, guys, that is the Oculus Go uh, VR headset. I'll do some uh, impressions on it and everything. I'll probably do a video to let you know if it's worth buying. And I guess we can try to figure out how to rip it apart. That'd be fun, right? So thanks guys for uh, stopping by to check this out. It's available at your 
Best Buy, I think, probably as early as today, I had to go out and had to ask the person because they didn't even know it was out, <laughs> which is great for their marketing. Um, so stop by your local Best Buy, I guess. Anywhere that really sells headsets should have this. Um, two different models, 64 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte. Uh, seems like a really cool entryway into VR if you just want to try it at a, a cheap price at $200 with nothing else needed other than a cell phone to get it started. So uh, thanks guys so much for checking this out and I will see you guys next time.